Hi guys, good morning. Myself Nagesh. I'm the trainer for Selenium and testing tools. Uh, I have around 10 plus years of experience. I have started my career with uh, PlanetSoft in the year 2004. Okay, I later part moved to Value Labs and EA. Okay. When it comes to training, I am the person who introduced uh, Selenium to Amir Pet Market in 2008. Okay. Last six years, I was with uh, MindQ. Recently shifted to Durga Soft. Okay. It is known for uh, Java. It's there in Maitri Vanam. Let me take the introduction of Selenium. Okay. What is Selenium? Okay. It is an open source functional automation tool. Okay. What is automation? See, we have testing. Testing is mainly divided into two streams. One is functional, another one is non-functional. Okay. One is functional, another one is non-functional. Okay. In functional, we have two. Okay. Manual testing and automation testing. Manual testing and automation. Okay. In manual testing, our main activity is write the test cases. Okay. These test cases will be executed manually some resource that is test engineer. Okay. The main test cases will be written by the test engineer and he will execute all these test cases manually. When it comes to automation, what he will do is the all the manual test cases will be converted to test scripts okay. with the help of some tool. Okay. It can be Selenium, it can be QTP, it can be RFT, it can be Renorex, it can be Water, Watin, like this n number of tools are available. Okay. The process of converting manual test cases to test scripts with the help of some automation tool is nothing but automation. Okay. I can use any tool to convert the test scripts. Okay. You may get one doubt. Sir, in manual testing, we are writing the test cases and we are executing the test cases. When it comes to automation, we are doing the same activity, the same test cases converted to test scripts and executing it. What is the use? Okay. The main advantage is we can save time. We can save time. So how much time we can save? Okay. So let me take a simple example. Okay. For example, I want to go from Kukutpalli to Amirpet. Okay. There are multiple ways. Manual, I can go by walk. It will take more time. Okay. I can use some tools. Example, bike, car, auto bus i can use any tools okay so depends on the requirement you will use the vehicle that vehicle is nothing but the automation tools okay so with the help of that vehicle i can save some time okay so when it comes to the company means let me take some real time example for example i am having around 500 test cases test cases okay we are having around 500 test cases i want to execute all these 500 test cases manually Okay. Per day, how many test cases we can execute? 50 to 60 test cases can be executed manually per day. Per day means 8 hours. Okay. So, all these 500 test cases can be executed in 9 to 10 days time. So, it will take around 10 days time to execute all the 500 test cases manually. For example, your lead said that okay, it's not possible to give 10 days time. You have to complete it in 4 to 5 days time. Then what you will do? Two solutions here. One is add one more resource. Okay, so that if you add one more resource, so I can execute it in 5 days. Add two more resources so that we can reduce the time further. He said resource addition is not possible. Then what you will do? Okay, we have to automate all these 500 test cases. Okay. So, automate all the 500 test cases. It's not possible to automate the entire testing. 100% testing is not possible to automate it. Okay. So, majority can be automated. There are few things can't be automated. Going forward, we will discuss what can be automated, what can't be automated. Okay. Now, here around 400 test cases I have automated. Remaining 100 test cases I am unable to automate means not applicable for automation. Okay. Now, bill released. 
okay my plan is to execute all these 500 test cases okay now these 100 test cases yes manual i need to execute so it took around two days time these 400 test cases how much time it will take to execute i said zero you may get doubt sir how come it is zero it will take around some time okay it may be one hour two hours one day it will take some time so how come it is zero means once the scripts are stable say for example i have written the scripts all are working fine okay now we don't execute those scripts in our regular timings today my job completed my plan is to go to home okay so what i will is before leaving i will put all these 400 test cases in run mode okay then i will leave to my home the next day when i'm back to the office okay i will analyze all these 400 test cases results how many pass how many fail if fail why failed okay what is the screenshot for the failure i will analyze it means here i am not investing any of my time i am not investing my time to execute these test cases i will either i will execute it in the night time or i will provide a separate system okay so that is the reason i said zero days okay means we have taken around two days time to execute all the 500 test cases previously 10 days now two days so the main advantage is we can save time means around on and average around 50 to 60 percent of the time around 50 to 60 percent of the time can be saved by using automation okay don't compare these two just on and average 50 to 60 percent of the time so when you have saved the time it directly proportional to the cost means cost to the company i can reduce cost to the company okay and we can maintain accuracy also we can maintain accuracy the same scripts can be executed in the same manner again and again that is nothing but accuracy okay and the scripts are repeatable the scripts are repeatable the same scripts can be executed on multiple builds iterative builds we can execute it so we can identify bugs okay and the end result is quality okay so the main advantage of automation is we can save time we can reduce cost to the company we can maintain accuracy the scripts are repeatable so we can identify the bugs and the end result with the automation is quality if you take any tool will offer all these features then why selenium why you all planning to learn selenium okay now we'll compare selenium with qtp okay nowadays people are converting from qtp to selenium why majority of the companies are using selenium nowadays why we'll discuss now okay the next question is what is the difference between selenium and qtp okay why majority of the companies are converting from qtp to selenium the first advantage is open source the first advantage is open source means absolutely free if you have one system with one internet connection you can download entire the selenium related files okay and the second advantage is it supports multiple languages java perl php python ruby c sharp that is nothing but dot net and html i can use any language to write the scripts okay selenium supporting these many languages what browsers selenium is supporting okay it supports firefox google chrome ie safari and opera okay all the latest versions of the browsers we can use and it supports the operating systems like windows mac linux okay in windows yes all the flavors we can use windows 7 windows 8 windows xp all the flavors we can use as well as mac you can use it and linux okay it's for web applications okay and mobile applications also 
mobile applications it directly doesn't support desktop applications like windows based applications it doesn't support here we have one question okay i'm having one web application okay in that we have some desktop components and desktop fields then is selenium supports example i have gmail okay gmail is an web application some application if you are using with the help of some browser that's a web application so gmail is an web application that web application i want to automate it in that web application we have desktop components is it possible means uploading a file is it possible to automate yes we have the tool called sequly okay it is also another automation tool okay i will use this automation tool as a add on to selenium to handle desktop components okay i can use selenium sequly as well as we have auto it is also there auto it some companies are using sequly some companies are using auto it as a add on to selenium to handle desktop components okay it is flexible as well as extendable okay. means it supports multiple languages multiple browsers and multiple operating system and it is very extendable extendable means reusable okay you can use any of these languages to write your scripts okay now we will see qtp features okay we have seen selenium features now we will see qtp features also is qtp is an open source no it's a commercial tool okay it's a commercial as well as costly it's so expensive okay and what languages qtp is supporting it mainly supports vb script somewhat you can use javascript also but as as per the guidelines given by the vendors of qtp means hp as per the hp guidelines we can use vb script what browsers qtp is supporting its main compatible with ie you can use firefox also okay and what operating system qtp supports windows okay it mainly supports windows operating system other operating systems it doesn't support okay and it is for desktop and web applications and mobile applications also qtp also supports desktop mobile as well as web applications it is also flexible and extendable but here i am saying that selenium is more flexible and extendable okay whereas qtp is less how can you say that selenium is more flexible okay simple it's a flexible enough supports multiple languages multiple browsers and multiple operating systems okay when it comes to extendability compare java with vb script java with vb script which one is more flexible and extendable okay java it's a proved language since 20 years we are using and still it is number 1 okay so in that way i said selenium is more flexible and extendable okay now you compare these two and that's the reason companies are using selenium most of the companies are recommending selenium because of these advantages thank you very much guys